So today I'm gonna to help you so that you can afford your gym membership and I'm gonna give you five ways that you can save 10 bucks a day. Now most gyms, especially our types of gyms, are less than 10 bucks a day. And so I wanna be able to help you afford your gym membership. So number one is that I want you to walk further, pay less, or go for free. Number two is I want you to bring a lunch versus buying. Number three, brew your coffee versus buying from a store. Number four, disregard all those impulse purchases that you're making. And number five, dress warm around the house. So number one is that you need to walk further, pay less or free. Now, when I was in university and just getting my career started, I would walk 30 minutes away because the 30 minutes away parking was free. And a lot of people that work downtown, I know my wife works there are paying $15 a day just to park downtown. And so what does that mean? $15 a day times five days a week, there's your gym membership, that's all covered. Now some of us, you know, maybe we don't want to take the bus. Well, you could ask one of your coworkers, can you guys do a carpool, right? Even if you don't live directly next to each other, maybe you can park somewhere that's further down, they pick you up, you split that, boom, you just saved yourself $7.50. Or maybe you can actually start taking the bus. So walk further, pay less, or find a way to park for free. Number two is that I want you to bring a lunch versus buying. Now I went out and had a Tim Hortons wrap yesterday and it was absolutely delicious. Now if I work downtown or near a Tim Hortons and every day I decided that I'm gonna treat myself with one of these Tim Hortons wraps, that's 10 bucks a day each time. 10 bucks a day times five days a week, boom, there's your membership. Okay, now you can make a delicious lunch from home. You put it in Tupperware, you put it in a little bag, you probably have a fridge at work. If you're working from home, then it's a no brainer. You should not be ordering skip the dishes anyways and you should not be going to Tim Hortons anyways, so there's your 10 bucks. But if you're working from home or you're working at the office, pack up a lunch, it's gonna be healthier, it's gonna be more nutritious and it's gonna help you get you closer to your results and also it's gonna give you that 10 bucks a day. Number three is that you can brew a giant pot of coffee. They have these water bottles that it stays hot for like 800 hours now. You probably own one. So why don't you utilize it? Brew the coffee at home, you know, whether it be instant or whether you buy the Starbucks bag stuff and you ground it up and you put it into your coffee maker. Brew it from home. You go to Starbucks, you buy just a regular coffee, that's like five bucks. And most people are getting the large coffees or they're getting two a day. There's your 10 bucks. So brew your coffee at home where it's probably gonna cost you less than 80 cents to get your giant pot of coffee to your work in that fancy water bottle that you probably already own. And there's your 10 bucks a week or 10 bucks a day so that you can afford your membership. Impulse purchasing, yes I know Sheen and you see everybody posting about Zaya or there's a sale at Lulu, but how many tights do you need? How many matching coordinated bra and pants do you need? You don't need any more. You look good, your stuff is amazing already. So before you go out and buy something, you need to sell two things just to be able to pay for that one thing. Does that make sense? Sell two of your old things, you might have spent $100 for each item and then you sell them both for 80 but then you can take that 80 and you can go buy something for 80. So in the end, you're basically zeroing it out. And how much outfits do you need? You look good already, don't worry. So stop buying from Sheen, even if it's 10 bucks for the pants and the, the, the matching shirt is $12 on sale from $3,000, I don't care what it is. There's 20 bucks that you can save and there's your 10 bucks for your membership. Now last but not least is that you can dress warm around the house, okay? If you're from the old school and uh, like my grandparents and like some of my friend's parents, that ho those houses were cold. <laughs> they were cold when it, got, when, it got cold, when it got colder out. So as the fall months come along, don't just turn your heat on. If it gets a little bit warm on one day, don't just turn your air conditioning on because all those small things, they all add up. And you gotta remember, there's all this cold therapy out right now where people are like, let's do cold therapy, it's burning calories, it's helping us melt fat. You can get a little bit cold, you can start to shiver, you're gonna burn some calories, you're gonna burn some fat, and that's gonna give you your 10 bucks a day. So there we have it guys, five ways that you can save 10 bucks a day so that you can be able to afford your membership, walk further, pay less, or get it for free, bring a lunch, brew your coffee, stop with the impulse buy buying, and get a little bit cold, shiver around the house. Now, if you're looking to get started, guys, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, send us a message, and we'll get you started on our five-day challenge.